There's a few rats to clean up here. First one underneath the supporter cabin. Sit there, mind his own business. Just gonna put a hole in him. Sorry about that. His mates on the hunt for some food. Just trying to get me footing because I'm on a very slippery bit of ground, so that's what the hesitation's about. But you'll see, hesitated a little too much and he disappears underneath. However, the fool comes out again and when he does, I put a hole in him. No hesitating that time. <laughs> now the next one I've been after for quite some time. He keeps coming out underneath metal ducting and disappearing again. Tonight I nail him. Punch a hole straight through his head from left to right. And what a mess it makes. These splashes of blood are about a metre and a half from the crime scene. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to blank it out because it was an absolute bloodbath. Let's get back over and see how those squirrels are doing. Sort of the hideout, put some extra foliage on top, got myself all set up and we have the first visitor of the morning. Help myself to some free feed, it's exactly what I like to see. Fill on his face, and he got a little more than he was expecting. Look at that. Straight down. Straight out. Can't get more humane than that. He didn't even know what hit him. You can see in slow motion where the pellet impacts, and you can see the shock wave through the squirrel's head. Knocks him back, and it's got him with so much force, it doesn't bleed until he lies down. It's absolutely lights out. Very, very humane. He isn't coming back from that. He got his own back, however. He expired in the feeder, didn't he? I had to break cover to go and get him. First squirrel of the day. Big set of nuts on him. After breaking cover, I ended up sitting in the hide for a little while. Enjoying some soup, just chilling out. Now, I do get a lot of nasty comments on the videos where I'm shooting squirrels because people see them as these cute fluffy animals but they don't realise how much they decimate the woodland, kill trees, they upset the natural balance of wild birds and other wildlife. Not to mention the damage they do to the red squirrels. Not so much in this area, granted, but they've been driven out and killed from all areas, or most areas of the UK. So that's another one down, another one off the books. Someone told me that they found a grey squirrel and they took it into one of these rescue centres. Um, they said it was going to get fixed up and get released, but actually a lot of people don't realise that under EU legislation it's illegal to release or re-release a grey squirrel into the wild. So make no mistake, when you take a squirrel to one of these places, to be, shall we say, looked after, it doesn't ever see the wild again. These need to be controlled, and that's what we're doing right here. And despite what some people think, this is probably the most humane way to do that. He's enjoying that. 
little does he know, that's his last supper. And take aim. There's the shot. That hit with some force and knocked his nuts out of his mouth. His peanuts out of his mouth. He's wondering what the hell just happened there. Why has my buddy jumped onto the floor? Ah, I'm not going to wait around. I'm off. Someone's not happy. I don't think they like me sitting there sniping their friends. Watch him for a short time and then he ends up running off across the tree canopy straight down to help himself to some breakfast. And of course, in doing that, he ends up off to scroll heaven with his friends. Pretty good count this morning so far. Really, really happy with this. They seem to be coming thick and fast. Just going to pop over the arable farm again. Got another couple of rats to pick off. That was a high body shot. He bowled it off and died in the bottom of the hedgerow there, which I picked up, put him in the bin. Now this one was taking a long time, edging his way out of the undergrowth. He probably thought, do you know what, got nothing to lose, let's get out there, get some of the feed off the roadside. He lost his life. Just drop a second shot, tell it to cheap, and I want to make sure he was a goner. That's the last two off the arable farm for this video. Gonna get across to the dairy farm. Got some rats to tidy up there too. Now these two heat signatures I spotted on the thermal, glowing very, very bright. I think they could be door mice. And if they are, they're protected in the UK. So they're not on the hit list. This scaly tail, however, definitely is. And very thoughtful of him. He's tucked himself up against a nice solid backstop. Good high body shot. Off he runs. Down he goes. Out in the main yard, got this huge bale, this huge massive stack of haylage and silage. I spotted some movement between them on the thermal, so I blew him a kiss to try and get him out. Of course, being so irresistible, out he came and down he went. That's a quick mover, record time between blowing a kiss and going down. Happy with that? Lights out. He kicks himself out as well. Very convenient, very thoughtful, very considerate. I like to watch him for a short time after the shot, not because I'm a psycho or a serial killer, but if I've shot him in the head, I expect to see legs kicking, tail spinning, then I know it's a good shot. Got his buddy here, wondering what the hell just went on. I'll tell you what, if you stay still, just for a second, I'll show you. There you go. That's what happened. That's what you get for being a nosy neighbour. The next shot that's coming up, I'm not quite sure what happened. I thought I got the rat shot in the side of the head and it jumps forward. But I'm not sure if I missed, it jumps forward and comes back to see what's going on. If that's what happened, he's a goner anyway. But I think I got two rats and one of them's jumped into the cattle barns on the right. But at least I can claim one. Seems to be a bit of a hot spot there. Clearly being a busy night, ratting around, stealing other people's food, passing on disease. Take a body shot, knocks him into the water. I couldn't get a clean headshot, so the high body shot was acceptable. He's a tough little sod, this one. Trying to climb back out. Waiting for another shot, another chance, another shot. And there we go, second one. Now the casing around that is a bit rusty. So I'm a bit reluctant to just go ahead and take another shot until I'm absolutely certain I'm going to hit him. So he gets out the water, 
clams into the filling mechanism and again because of the state that's in and the fact that we've got an inflatable ball there I'm not going to take another shot just yet he's got two high body shots he's, he's dying oh come on he's died on the filler valve I had to put the rifle in the car get out de-kitted and climb in with the cattle to retrieve him up that trough before the trough overflowed brilliant thanks for watching